You're looking at a pair of Fujinon uh, 15 by 60 binoculars. This is their HB series, which I believe may have been discontinued. It's not listed on the Fujinon website anymore. Uh, I was lucky enough to get the use of these during my 2009 whitetail hunt. Uh, a friend of mine let me borrow these. Just doing a quick video here. Let you guys see the kind of gear that uh, people use in southern Arizona for a coos whitetail hunt. Uh, these binoculars have rubberized caps on the front that come off. Uh, kind of a one piece setup on the rear here that protects the rear lenses. Uh, on the mount they're set up on right now, they can't left and right has uh, a zoom dial on here and this front little dial here kind of zooms and focuses the right lens. Uh, these binoculars if you look online uh, they're running about seven hundred dollars right now from what I can see. Uh, it's mounted on a Pentax uh, binocular to tripod adapter uh, it's got a little bubble level in there. I don't know if you can see that. It uh, helps you level it. The adapter itself runs about 40 bucks, And uh, it's on a Sunpack Fieldmaster LE uh, adjustable tripod. Uh, just searching online. Looks like the tripods are going for about $50 right now. Tripod is adjustable. These little metal sleeves right here are kind of knurled and they twist clockwise and release. Allows you to adjust the tripod down or up however high you need it and then just with a quick twist counterclockwise tightens it up. And there's some little quick throw levers here that allow this portion in here to slide up or down on the tripod if you need the legs closer or further apart. Uh, has a couple of different adjustments so that you can turn the uh, upper part here, stabilize it. Uh, an adjustment on the back here that allows you to cant the binoculars up or down if you're looking down into a valley or something like that. And it also has a pivot adjustment right here. If you undo this, the binoculars, you can tilt them left or right if you need to help level it up a little bit. There's actually also a little bubble level on the top of the tripod itself if you need to level that up. Uh, it allows you to do that. Also has some adjustment knobs down in there that allow you to raise or lower the binoculars however high you need to, to adjust them there. Uh, on the side of the binoculars there are some little tabs on either side that allow you to attach a uh, like a neck strap or a binocular harness uh, to wear them in front of your chest while you're hiking. Uh, they are pretty heavy so uh, I kind of advise not carrying them with you when you're hiking into an area. Uh, kind of something you'd throw in your pack, take with you once you got onto your uh, hunt location. You'd pull them out of your pack, set them up on the tripod, start glassing a hillside or a valley. For those of you that might not be able to tell they're a real dark kind of olive drab color uh, with black eye pieces and uh, knobs on there uh, these also came with a uh, Fujinon two power a uh, doubler that was uh, in the case has the same kind of little rubber eyepiece that's on the back. Uh, 
allows you to double the 15 power magnification of these binoculars and turn them into a uh, 30 power. It only screws on one side though. So if you were to say use the right side, you would just unscrew this outer cover. Slide the doubler over. Takes a little bit of time, there's a lot of threads there. Can adjust that in or out depending on how far you need it to gain the right eye relief for you and that pretty much turns this tube right here into a 30 power uh, spotting scope so if you're glassing a hillside and you see movement or you see something you think uh, might be what you're looking for you can just add this two power uh, magnifier to it and double the power of the binoculars, a uh, much clearer, closer view of what you're looking at. Might be able to uh, tell the difference between uh, a leaf blowing in the end and an ear flickering. The two power magnifier uh, was just in a little kind of thin leather pouch with a little draw string on it with a cord lock. It says Fujinon on the bag. And the main pouch that these binoculars were in when they were uh, lent to me is kind of a forest green nylon with a black padded interior. Uh, the binoculars just slide in here, helps protect them. There's an outer accessory pocket for some lens cleaning cloths little straps that attach to the side a little carry strap is in there right now uh, it's got a lot of little polymer triangular attachments on it you could strap this to a backpack uh, lock carabiners in there and attach it if you needed to uh, or you could just take a shoulder strap and click it into both sides and wear it over your shoulder like a little camera bag if you needed to really helped out on my whitetail hunt and uh, definitely have to look into getting a set of quality optics pretty similar to this. Uh, some people might ask uh, why would you need a $700 pair of binoculars? Uh, why can't I just go down and buy a cheap set of Bushnells for 30 bucks? Won't they do the same job? First of all, they're going to be a little bit lesser power, uh, a lot lesser optics quality. You won't get uh, as good a image looking through a pair like that. And uh, whitetail hunting in southern Arizona is all about having a good crystal clear quality uh, set of optics. Uh, you're glassing a lot of hillside all day. Uh, I mean, the difference between a poor quality optic and a a good high dollar set of binoculars could uh, make or break your deer hunt. 